Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Today at Clinton High School, V. Thompson is signed to play football up at Methodist University in Fayetteville. First off, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, first, congratulations again. And uh, what was it about Methodist that really kind of stood out from anyone else that was looking at you? Uh, they guaranteed me playing time automatically as soon as I came in as a freshman. So it really, you know, got my attention, made me sway towards their way. And uh, as a as a campus, it really is like I feel like home, you know. Does it feel a lot like Clinton? Yes, it does. The setting of how it is, everything's kind of small. It's more of a smaller college, so that's what I'm used to. Who were some of the other schools that looked at you? Uh, I went and visited Charleston Southern. That was one of my top picks. And um, Walford was another one of my top picks that I got accepted to. But uh, I think I made the right, right decision, made the right choice, still a Methodist. Was it hard to pass up uh, to D1 schools like those two? Uh, yes, it was, but I had to look at bigger things on my slate, and as time progresses, I'll, I'll get to where I need to be. Have they told you where you're probably going to be playing and then also what you need to be working on in the offseason? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I'm going to be playing at defensive back, more either safety or corner. I know I'm going to start at return, man, so that'll, that'll really you know, be exciting. They told you to be working on gaining a little bit of weight, working yes, with sir. your speed. Um, since the ACL injury, I probably lost a little speed, but I'm working at getting that back. And uh, over time, you know, I've been trying to put on weight. I need to put on probably about 20, 15, 20 more pounds, and I'll be set. You can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't remember, what, the ACL injury that you had, when, when did you suffer that? Uh, it was the second game of the season against Greer, so it was probably. I know I had surgery on September 23rd, so it was probably a week before that. So anywhere between the 14th and the 20th, that's when that happened of September. When were you able to be uh, back at full speed? Um, this past month, probably early April, middle middle April, is probably when I passed my passed my test to get back into a full, you know, full the full gist of things. Okay. Was that ahead of schedule from what the doctors were were telling you? Yes, they... sir. I, um, actually, it was I was ahead of schedule, so that was being a little itchy with me at first to make sure I wasn't going back out too fast to make sure I didn't re-tear anything. What's been the toughest adjustment, I guess, starting speed, pushing off? Mm, probably just going back into that same cut move that I did to tear my ACL, just being, that's, that thought is always in the back of my head what mm -hmm. if it was to happen again. So I just got to get over that fear and I'll be, I'll be fine. Now, we've been talking football at Methodist University. Obviously, you're going to further your education. Yes, sir. Have you thought about a major and what you might want to do when you finish up there? I have um, accounting. Accounting is one of, my, one of my top majors, but I may change it. It just, it'll be a, over time when I see it. It'll really, it just depends on. What's your long-term career goals? Um, right now, I'm probably undecided, I'll probably say. <laughs> I'm a little undecided, okay. but I'll, I'll make a decision soon. Yeah. What's it been like the last few years just playing you know, on the squad? Like, what if, What's the biggest things that you've learned? And uh, With Clinton High, everything is really about family. We all sit together, and it's just, it's just you have to depend on more than yourself, you know, especially in football. you got 11 men doing, doing their job, and one man doesn't do their job. Then touch down the other team, and something can go wrong. So it's... Really, we have to be on the same page at all times and really correspond with each other to get the job done. You did such a great job on the sidelines. Have you thought about it? Yeah, coaching I really, and that kind of thing? It's when you weren't playing, you were always there picking well, up yeah, people? Well, yeah, I'm just a student of the game, so when I'm not uh -huh. playing, I'm continually learning from it. So, you know, I have to encourage others at the same time when I can't play, just to try to get behind there, get, get on their back, make sure they know that if I was out there on the field, I would be doing it out there too. I'm just doing it on the sideline because I can't play. And you get a different perspective. You can see when you're right. on the field, you're looking one way. When you're looking in the sidelines, you're getting right. a whole a big visualization thing. of everything. Yeah, it's it's a different because past two years I probably missed I probably missed the whole season of football put together. So you know I've seen a lot, I watch a lot just to see how you know players are playing when. If I was to line up in front of them, how the defense goes. If I was to line up on defense, how the offense is going. Mm. It's just I have a different view of things. You're right. All right. Well, once again, congratulations. Thank you.